Joe Musgrove uh, pitches tonight on this the three year anniversary of his no hitter. Yeah it's pretty cool when you think about what the Padres waited they're waiting 53 years to get their first no hitter they're the last team in Major League Baseball to record one and to have it done by a kid who grew up watching baseball in this ballpark and wears number 44 on his back in honor of his favorite player Jake Peavy. I mean you can't script it any better than that certainly a magical moment in Padres history. 31 year old a local kid we all know that as far as facing the Cubs his 10th career start. Swing and a miss and he strikes out half to begin the night. So they cut fastball up in the zone and have swing it right underneath that line drive and that one sinking and falling for a base hit. A beautiful swing from Seiya Suzuki. Swing and a miss and he comes back to strike out Bellinger. Well two strikes hitters against Musgrove at just 071 this year and he's able to strike out Bellinger's second K. That is ball four and a two out walk for Morell. Popped up. Musgrove's going after it. He's calling for it in foul ground and he's making the catch. I'll just do it all. Joe Musgrove makes the catch. Cubs strand two. This young right hander uh, Ben Brown. We've seen a fastball top out at 98 sit comfortably at 96 miles per hour. And that power curve by 86 miles per hour he throws his curveball. Field straight away on Xander Bogarts. And liner to left field for Bogarts. Over his hat to the backhand. Bogarts thinking two. Throw going there, and Xander is safe. Does he stay on the bag? He does. The double and a good AB right there for Bogarts. Jolted to center. Bellinger moves over to right center and he makes the catch. Bogarts is tagging. Here comes the throw. He will be out. Nice throw from Cody Bellinger to throw out Bogarts. And just like that, there are two outs and the bases are empty. And a swing and a miss. Brown gets the punch out. Cody Bellinger showing off the arm. The former Gold Glove winner with a great throw to cut down Bogarts. Cubs and Padres still locked at zero as Joe Musgrove goes out for his second inning of work. Swings and misses at a slider. That is strike three. And strikeout number three for Joe. One out here in the second. Swing and a miss at a pitch in the dirt. It was a curveball. It's away briefly from Campisano, so he's got to throw him out, and he does. Four strikeouts for Joe Musgrove. Inning and a half done without a score. So Manning, the DH, continues to be used in that capacity. Line to left, a base hit for Manning. Happ will get it back in. Machado aboard to begin the bottom of the second inning. Get a pitch. On the ground, should be two. Swanson. Over to first, and a double play. So Horner to Swanson to Bush and 4 6 3. Scoreless game, second inning. Ben Brown making his first major league start, delivers. A pitch swung on and missed, strike three. And the inning comes to an end. Brown strikes out Kim. Scoreless game in the third. Here's Sega Suzuki. Here's a pitch line toward left center. That's going to fall in there for a base hit. Profar gloves it on one bounce. It's a one out single for Sega. He is two for two. Let's see if that leads to a Cubs rally. On the ground, off the glove of Musgrove. Stays with it, fires to first, and it's safe. Threw it in the dirt, picked nicely by Cronenworth, but the ruling is that he is safe and that he beat it out. And it looks like they are challenging. And from the looks we have had, this looks to be one that will be overturned. After we view the calls overturned, the runner is out. This is line to short and caught by Kim very defensively, but he reels it in and ends the top of the third. No score in the game, and the batter Jackson Merrill, the one-two swing and a miss, strike three. Ben Brown gets the strikeout, and that's ball four. Four pitch walk to the number nine man, Tyler Wade. Big lead held by Bush. Here's the 0-1. There he goes, swing and a miss. Gomes throw to second base, no chance. Goes into center field. Wade didn't see it at first. Started to go now, slams on the brakes and returns to second. Now the 3 2 pitch on the way to Bogarts. Popped up. Good pitch. Playable foul territory. Gomes is there. He's got it. And Ben Brown has put three zeros on the board in his first big league start. Bush is on. No score. Fourth inning. Nico Horner coming up. Popped up. Foul ground has Cronenworth ranging over near the screen to make the catch. Nice job by Cronenworth. The concentration as he was getting close to that short fencing. Swing and a miss, and 
Cooper strikes out. Strikeout number five for Musgrove. Ends the top of the fourth. He's got the same spikes on again tonight, right? And why not, right? Yes. I'd roll with those for a while if I were him. A salute to uh, the late great Tony Gwynn. Line and caught! Nico Horner up into the air to make the play. Nice play by Horner. You talk about timing your leave perfectly. That was a great example of it right there, Ron. Well, and he really got up in the air, too. Nico skies and just barely gets to this ball, and it's a line drive rocket. Towards the gap in right center field, and that's going to one hop the wall for Manny. Second hit of the night for Machado. Single to the second. He doubles with two down here in the fourth inning. Swing and a miss, strike three. Good job by Ben Brown to strike out Jurickson Profar. And for the Cubs here in the fifth, it'll be Jan Gomes. Gomes, then Hap, then Suzuki, nine to one and two. And that one drilled out towards left center field, going back. Merrill back some more. Gone! Home run, Jan Gomes! His first of the year, and the Cubs are on the board. They lead it one to nothing. A lot of blue in the stands. You hear them cheering for Jan Gomes as he circles the bases for the first time. He was sitting on that curveball from Musgrove and delivered a 410 foot blast. Now the payoff pitch. Up high, ball four. It draws a walk. Say a Suzuki. Now the 2 1. Ground ball through in a left field past the diving Wade. Third hit of the game for Seiya Suzuki. All singles. That hit him? It did. Hit him with a slider to load the bases. And here comes Mike Schilt. That is going to do it for Joe Musgrove. A home run, a walk, a single, a hit batter in this inning, and that is it. With Christopher Morell coming up and the base is loaded. Here's the pitch. High fly ball. Hit to deep left center field. Forget about it. Long gone. A grand slam home run. Christopher Morrell. He went into the second deck. Up and out over the plate, and Christopher absolutely tattoos this ball. 5 nothing Cubs here in the fifth. Brown is back out there. Yeah, maybe a quick fifth. You never know. One, two, three. If a base runner gets on, maybe they go to him, but uh, a chance to go five complete. Swing and a miss. Strike three. Got him with the fastball. One away. The pitch. Fly ball hit to deep right center field. Bellinger giving chase. He's at the track and makes a backhanded catch. Belly's having a heck of a game in center field. That ball there, he gets a great jump. That is going to do it for Ben Brown, who goes four and two thirds innings. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And that ends the fifth inning. As Merrill is retired. Two balls, two strikes to Suzuki. Two down. Jan Gomes at first. On the ground, sharply hit off of Kim. It goes to second, and yes, Bogarts gets the foot down. So uh, Kim can't field it cleanly. A lucky break there as it goes to Bogarts right around the bag at second for the out. That'll work. In a results based business, they got the job done. It's like Eggy Rosario is going to pinch it here for Tyler Wade. High drive, deep left field for Rosario. A pinch hit. Home run. That gets the scoring started for the Padres. Straight as a string, and Eggy scrambles this one. Teams keep trying to sneak heaters by Eggy, and it's just not a good idea. Yancy Almonte comes in from the Cubs bullpen, the right hander. And now the Cub right hander fires, and Machado takes strike three call. And that's out number one here in the bottom of the seventh inning. That's a big out. Kim has already struck out twice in the game. And the pitch. Strike three called. He has struck out three times in the game. The players call that the hat trick. Zach, we do have a big crowd tonight. A new man on the mound, by the way. Mark Leiter Jr. is doing the Cubs pitching in the bottom of this eighth inning. Swing and a miss, and Leiter gets Capusano. Leiter strikes out the first man he faces. The bullpen continues to do a nice job. Bogarts bounces one to the left side. Fielded by Dansby Swanson, throws to first. Dug out nicely by Bush, a one hop throw, and that ends the inning. Adbert Elzelai out to try to close things out. It is not a save situation, the lead is too large. Tati swings and misses, strike three. Out number one, the first out in this bottom of the ninth inning is right-hander from Venezuela, 
Fires. This ball's bounced to third. This could do it. Madrigal throws to first. Cubs win the ball game. The Cubs, after a very difficult loss last night, jump right back into the win column this evening with a 5-1 to one win here in San Diego.